Welcome back, Rankers. Have a good week. Google released last Friday, our time, a cheat sheet for SEO. They haven't actually called it a cheat sheet for SEO. They've called it a cheat sheet for setting a site up in search or something like that. That wasn't easy to say. And it look, it's good information, but it would be geared towards someone who really didn't know anything about web publishing of any description and had decided that they wanted to set up a site for the very first time. Having said that, I want to point out a couple of things that Google has left out, which you yourself may not be aware of. So if you want to download the cheat sheet, just go to googlewebmastercentral.blogspot.com or dot whatever your country code is, you'll find it. So this is the cheat sheet, and it's talking about looking good in the search results. Now, everything that it says in this cheat sheet is the basis of what we do here. And I was talking to someone today, hi Daniel, and we were saying that, you know, the fundamentals of SEO haven't changed in the last seven or eight years. Certainly as long as I've been doing it. The fundamentals are still the same. What's changed, however, is how the algorithm has evolved to cut down on spam and improve the quality of the results that Google delivers to its users. That's what's changed. But the, the fundamentals, which are discussed in this cheat sheet, number one, look good in the search results. It says, well, you know, have your page title uh, descriptive, because that's essentially the thing that always appears in the search results, like they've pointed out here. And they've said that, you know, it's good for it to be descriptive. Uh, what, they, what they neglect to say is, it's good for it to be descriptive, but they never say, oh, use your keywords in that title too, because that's important. It is. They won't tell you that. They just say, oh, make it descriptive. And when Google talks like this, they're always talking about, yeah, but we're semantic search. So if you use your keywords around a certain group of phrases, we get the idea of what you're talking about. However, if your competition is zeroing in on a specific phrase or a specific group of phrases and is, and is concerned about the keywords in their page titles and in their headings and in their image alts and everything else, then they will rank higher than you. All other things being equal, of course. So through this document, read it like that. And you can see here, they say, look, uh, domain names are an important part of Google search results. Hmm. Now, last year, we had the exact match domain update. This was in early October, I think it was. And a lot of sites with keywords that were an exact match to, say, a phrase in the domain would actually, they just got wiped out overnight and they disappeared from their number one, number two results, whatever that were. Since then, some of them have come back and they've done a little bit, not a lot. But what Google is saying to us right here is that domain names are an important part of Google's search results. So, if you can get an exact match domain name, get one. But the caveat to that is, is you better update your site a lot with quality content as well. Because what the exact match domain did was sites that didn't have quality content or weren't updating on a regular basis. Typically, they were the ones that, that got hit. So, it, it, as Matt Cutts said from Google, they turned down the volume on the, the signal level, if you like, of the exact match domain. It says here, meta descriptions are often used by Google and other search engines. So, write any descriptions. Let me turn that phone off. Sorry about that. And, sorry. and it's true, they do. Now, there is varying levels of degree of discussion whether keywords in your description tag actually matter for ranking. Matt Cutts says, no, it doesn't. It doesn't at all. Um, it doesn't hurt to have them in there, though. Just have a healthy paranoia when it comes to Google ranking. And if it makes sense to use your keywords in there, put them in there. The, the reason I would put them in there is because we as humans, when we search for a phrase, we tend to look for the thing that matches that exactly. So if I see it in the page title, I see it in the description tag, I'm going to click on it more likely than if I don't see it in the description tag. You know, if I see a 
the description tag and it has one keyword over here, another keyword over here, another keyword, I'm less likely to click. I'm more likely to click if I see that in a row. And most people are the same from the sites that, that we optimize anyway. Help Google understand images. Now, this is a good one. People often, and even SEO companies, forget to use the alt tags. Now, Google's saying here, use your alt tags in your images. Make sure that you use descriptive, once again, or attributes that describe the image. Now, this is obvious. A lot of people go, oh, that could be keyword stuffing. But let's just say you've got five chandelier pictures on a particular page. Why not start every alt tag with the word chandelier, dash model number. That works, works for Google. It's not keyword stuffing, it's descriptive. Works for the user, and you're getting your keywords in there again, all right? The other one that they haven't mentioned here is title elements in links. Because what Google's saying here is says, this helps us understand what the image is about because we can't look at images, we can't read them. Title elements also help because it helps the user know what the destination URL is that they're about to click on, and it will also tell Google something in advance before it crawls that, that URL, what it's about as well. You better make sure that if you use a title element in the link that it does actually have relevance to the target page though. And it also says here something interesting, write a short caption on the page below Im each image and put information in text rather than images. Well, we've always said that. Don't use uh, an image when you can use text. But this caption one, that's a really interesting one. Um, we haven't tried it much before. That's a terrible circle, I know. It's a new app I'm testing. We haven't tried that much, but I'm going to start trying that now and just cross-referencing. Cross the interesting thing where I've seen this pop up, and it's been really weird, is that we would have a caption on an image and then that image would appear on another Google property, say like uh, places, where it was put without that caption. And guess what? In the search results, it has the caption. So Google had linked, had worked out that the image that we were using on our website and the image that we were using in places was exactly the same image by file size and dimension, presumably. And then it grabbed the caption and file name and it grabbed the caption off our site and put it into our places account in the search results. Didn't actually you know, enter them into the, the actual configuration of places, but just when you did a search for places. So Google is actually using captions. So if you do a lot of photography, um, or you, do a, you have a lot of great images, start using captions. We're gonna start doing it now as well. And that was one that really jumped out to me. And the other thing it says here is, you know, Always uh, provide useful content and keep it up to date. Well, yeah. But, you know, there's one big thing that they haven't said here, which I think is a must, even if you're a beginner, is set up Google Webmaster Tools. Because this is all fine and dandy, but if your website is broken and you don't know it because you can't see the errors that Google is seeing, then you've got major issues, so you've got to do that. So set up Google Webmaster Tools. The other thing they haven't mentioned here is heading tags. They're saying here use nice descriptions, update your content, all these sorts of things, but use headings, because a good heading is a good document. You have a good heading, it tells you about what is about to follow, and use your keywords, make it natural. But go and download the cheat sheet if you're a beginner, and uh, I'd love to know if you're using captions on images, if you're finding that's helping some of the ranking things you're trying to rank for. By the way, big panda update. How'd you go? Uh, we look fine and dandy here, but if you've had problems, I'd love to know. Not out of any morbid curiosity, but I'd just like to see uh, if your site got hit by panda, I'd like to know why, and hey, might be able to help you. And we'll see you next week. Thanks very much. Bye.